But George Soros, I wrote a column it's on BillOReilly.com. It's yeah. called The Prince of Darkness. It uh-huh. basically uh-huh. runs down uh-huh. um, how this man is undermining America, and nobody knows about it because the corporate, um, corrupt corporate media won't even, oh, you know. Come on, Bill. He's a, I mean, he's one guy. Yes, he has a lot of money, but no, he's just yeah, an old that. guy that, that, you know, how much power could he have? He doesn't have that kind of power. All right, Beck. Well, you're an old guy, and you have power. Come on. <laughs> oh, okay, I would have go. got hammered by you. <laughs> I would have got hammered by you had I responded that way to you in 2011. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. So uh, Soros has got uh, a few billion dollars. Mm. As you point out, he's 92, and he's going to kick soon. But his uh, son is even worse than he Alexander. is. Alexander. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But But believe me. It's not nearly the intellect of the Prince of Darkness. Hmm. So, um, but the the thing that I wanted to bring to America's attention is that nobody knows about this. So, all of a sudden, in the last I don't know six seven years, you've got these crazy progressive district attorneys mm-hmm. all over the country. Mm-hmm. Well, how did that happen? I mean, you look at it and you're going, these people don't want to enforce the law at all. How did they get elected? Well, if you step back, they got elected because political action committees funded by George Soros and others what pumped uh, millions of dollars across the country into their um, campaigns. And the I people they were running against don't have nearly that money. And so all of a sudden, Larry Krasner is the uh, DA of Philadelphia. Now, to Philadelphia's great shame, they reelected this guy who won't enforce the law. Oh. Alvin Bragg in New York, uh, the guy who's being recalled in L.A., the guy who's being recalled, Bowden in San Francisco, on and on and on, Kim Fox in Chicago. So people don't know how this works. Local races... Do not get any publicity unless you live in the county or the area where they're taking place. Uh-huh. But this guy is is a giant octopus who singles out people who will not enforce the law, gives them enough money so that they can win, and has corrupted the whole country. That Ooh, is the uh, Prince of Dark. Uh, I got to tell you, that's a that's an anti-Semitic trope right there. That's what that uh, is. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, Bill, did you see, and I know you did because you, you opened it up, he has come out uh, ag- against Russia and China, and he's like, we, we've oh. got to stop this. He's mad now. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. And he's doing that to rehab his image. No, he doesn't care. He is doing that no, because he, he wants back. us at war. He wants back. us at war. He does. Well, I don't know about him wanting us at war. I know, I mean, but you, you didn't know put, if he was a prince of darkness about 10 put, years ago. Put forth that. Uh, he certainly doesn't want the uh, United States to prosper the way it is. He right. wants a socialist country. Well, he wants Absolutely. A, he wants one that he can control. I mean, his fingerprints are all over Ukraine. You think the corruption here with the, um, uh, with the, the DA offices, he did it times 10 in Ukraine. He was the guy that the Obama administration said, you know, we've got to we've got to clean Ukraine up and we're going to help you. Uh, so we're going to we're going to put this little international office run by America. Uh, mm-hmm. We're going to put it in there and uh, we're going to clean up all of this organized crime. His people were run- Soros's people were running it. That's Is that why right? I did not know. Well, I oh. did because you wrote about it in the book. But, no, actually, you know, this was this. I'll send you all of the information on this bill. No, It'll you blow your mind. Me. I believe. I believe you, Ben. No, no, no. I know, but this will this will add to a case. More people should know this case. Absolutely, he is absolutely involved. His fingerprints are all over Look, Ukraine. When you have a uh, censorship of the media of the corporate media, they're not going to report about George Soros, and then you have a sympathetic. Uh, progressive yep. uh, organization in Washington D.C. that can that can select people to go to Ukraine and do whatever they want. I mean, this is this is an enormous story. Look, the New York Times this week uh, wrote a story that said, Ah, yeah, Hunter Biden's uh, lap. That was all true, 
And whatever we reported uh, months ago that you should ignore this and it's not important, uh, that was false. And it wasn't a front page story. No, <laughs> no. But they, they did it because that reputation, it's almost like Soros, the reputation of the New York Times among people who really know what's happening is gone. It's gone. I, I will it's tell you, It's not a Bill. newspaper anymore. It's a far-left journal, and they're trying to bring it back by saying, oh, yeah, well, we just made a mistake. Yeah, sure you did. I will tell okay, you, I, I have a lot of friends who are, I wouldn't call them lefties. They're, they're um, well, I was going to say they're California Democrats, which is a leftist, but uh, they're not. They're, they're, they're farther, much farther left than I would ever think of going, um, but they still have some appreciation, if you will, for freedom. Uh, and they're starting to wake up. And they have said to me, many of them, Glenn, you know me, I read the New York Times every day. I can't read it anymore. I, I won't I, you, buy it. Uh, anybody who's honest, it doesn't matter if they're conservative or liberal, right. you got to know what that thing is. And you know, I'm stunned uh, about your initial uh, sentence in, uh, as you set that story up, that you have a lot of friends. I... I <laughs> Okay, it's a very, very good. Act. You're making a lot well, of progress. Thank you. you thank went, you. I know. You went to I social know. rehab. You I know. know. Um, we'll all be there soon, Bill. We'll all uh, be there. Soon. I need it desperately, but I just I can't know. afford it. Yeah. Um, so anyway, look. What we have, though, this is the big importance of this story. <clears throat> if you don't live in a county run by Kim Fox of Chicago, Cook County, then you, maybe this isn't so vital to you. Um, but if you do it's live everywhere. where I live, all right, and, and if you live in Chicago or L.A. or San Francisco, Philadelphia, you're in danger. You're in physical danger because there now is a cadre of predators on the streets that know they're not going to be punished unless well, they go over the line, you know? What is they the difference? right up to the line, steal, beat you up, spit on you, and they know they're not going to get punished. And, and when you have that anarchy, and that's what it is, all right, it's just random. So you could go out shopping, and then all of a sudden somebody's going to take a bat and hit you, and nothing's going to happen to them. Look at the Jesse Smollett case where, wait, he, he spent three days in jail, and he's walking out again? What, what is this? Well, that, that – wait a minute, Beck. His lawyers are appealing. Yeah, I know. Okay, so under the law – you have this, the judge has a discretion whether to keep you behind bars this guy, or let you out on bail until the appeal is heard. This guy so does not me. admit that he ever did anything wrong. He's still blaming it on the police. The yeah. guy is guilty as sin. This is a travesty because, I mean, let me give you another something else. Adam Schiff, who in Washington, <laughs> who in Washington has yes. paid a price for anything? You know what? I would rather have Adam Schiff in jail than Jesse Smollett. I, if they could do it like a trade there. I think so, too. I'd like yeah. to have both of them in jail, quite honestly. Uh, as long as they had a trial that was fair and honest. But these people, these people in Washington, it's the same kind of system that has been set, that's in Washington and has been for about 10 or 15 years uh, and on steroids. Um, the same system is now Soros has moved it into our DA's offices in some of our yeah. biggest cities. But it's worse, though. It's, it's really worse. So, you know, when you have, uh, you know, this guy Soros, he's been around forever. When, when you and I were on cable news, we were doing stories on him. Okay, and then so people who listen to this cable news, the Glenn Beck radio program, to BillOReilly.com, they know Soros. They know. It. But the giant, vast American people, in quotes, all right, they don't know who he is. And, and so you have this insidious, subversive tens, hundreds of millions of dollars going into areas that people don't even know about. Isn't that, look, Soros is the architect of the open border down on, you know, in between the USA and Mexico. His the primary operation that he runs is called the Open Society Foundation. And one of their main tenets is we don't stop anybody. Anybody in the world who wants to come to America should be welcomed here. No processing. Let them in. 
And look how many inroads he's made. We now have a president who simply will not enforce immigration law. Joe Biden will not enforce it. Now, that's an impeachable offense. And I don't know whether the Republicans would do this or not, but they, they should. They when should. they win in November, which they will, all right, take both houses back. It's now a fait accompli because mm. inflation is not going to lessen. Never, ever. Nah, Beck, no, you know no, me. I'm no. Very rarely wrong. I, I never, ever underestimate how bad the Republicans yeah, are. Yeah, but it's local races. It's local races, not national. All right. So inflation is here for the rest of the year, and that will doom the Democratic Party across the board. I'm going to give you something you don't know, Beck, to prove my genius. OK, Are you ready? No. Give me one minute. I'll come back. Bill O'Reilly. Bill O'Reilly. Here, back. Yeah, okay. I heard what you said, and uh, it uh, brought me to tears. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but look, I, the reason I did it in your audience. Right. No, well, let's not talk. Uh, I'm sorry, Beck. I'm you know it's, I'm on the air now. Um, the reason I did it is because I like contrarian voices. All right, and you had a different point of view than most people did, to say the least. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I got. Uh, I said we got to put Beck on because mm. he deserves to be heard. Simple as that. Okay. Here's a big story that the Glenn Beck radio audience does not know that I just learned. Are you ready? Do you have a pen and pad? I do. I think it's okay. highly doubtful that we don't know. Okay. No, Beck, you're being cynical. Um, you're going right, to Okay. Me. Well, I mean, you All did right, break the go. news about George Soros here a minute ago. Yeah. I'm still reeling from that. Here we go. Okay. So uh, the biggest thing that's collapsed the justice system in New York not just the city, but the state, is the insane no-bail law that was passed by Albany by an uber-leftist legislation that is veto-proof, okay? That has led, directly led to thousands of people being killed in New York State, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. This week, Governor Hochul, put forth a bill written by her far-left uh, minions that is a budget for the state of New York. Within the budget is a revocation of most Nobel laws. No one knows that. And, of course, the local media in New York, <laughs> clueless, but I know it. Because a former governor of New York told me, and it's stunning. So I said to the former governor, why would they put the revocation of no bail law in a budget bill? And he says it gives the far left loons cover because yep. they can just say, I voted for the budget bill. That's you unbelievable. See? And they're just it? such weasels. And so the no bail laws in New York are going to be revoked. Why? Because there's almost a revolution here in this state about criminals running wild in can the I, streets. Can I ask you, Bill, the 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 video of that that crazy man going up to an ATM machine and beating that Asian woman yeah. almost to death is just horrific. Was that guy he wasn't part of the no bail bill bill, was he? Was he out because of... Yes, he was, oh. they're all part of it because all of these people have rap sheets that go back years with multiple arrests and convictions. But that doesn't matter in the Nobel Law. You can't take into account, if you're a judge, prior convictions. That's how insane it is. Now, many of these people are mentally ill, but that's always been the case. I know. Violent criminals, half of them, maybe more, are mentally ill. That doesn't mean you let them run around the Correct. streets. I, I've, I have not seen anything that disturbing uh, in a video. Uh, I mean, in a very long time. That was just yeah, horrible. That, that horrible. The guy is uh, clearly out of control. Hit this woman like a hundred and some times. Uh, I mean, just pounding her on the ground. Is she... Is she recovering? Do you know, Bill? I don't know. I, I have to be honest. I don't know what yeah. her 
situation is, um, but I will find out. Yeah, but you didn't know you. about that Nobel thing, did you? In New York, State. yeah. <laughs> you didn't I know talked it. to the ghost of a of no, 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 no. Former you know governor, your audience, and you're going. Oh, I put O'Reilly on because he was nice to me <laughs> like 80 years ago. But that's not why you put me on. You put me on because I bring it. I bring honest information that people don't know. Bill, I learned from a guy. I learned this from a a, a, a guy a uh, long time. I wouldn't say a very wise man, but look. I'm a I'm an airplane, okay? I, I'm way up in the atmosphere. I can't land to get new fuel. I need others to come up and refuel from time to time. Oh, so that, what an analogy. That, that's just brilliant. <laughs> You're an airplane. Okay, let's get shirts. Okay. Glenn Beck is an airplane. <laughs> All right. Let's get get off my phone. <laughs> Bill O'Reilly, thank you very much. Uh, all right, Beck. All right. Next week, thanks for having you me in. It. BillOReilly.com has it all. Bye. Bye. 